Today I'm going to show you how you can install Windows in your iMac without the USB Super Drive. Just using two USB flash drives. One has to be at least 6 gigs or more for your ISO image. One has to be at least a gig for your drivers. You cannot use the external hard drive unless you have nothing on it. Even then though I tried it and I couldn't even install Windows. I had to unplug my external hard drive. So let's open up Bootcamp Assistant Disk Utility to format your flash drives. Click on your flash drive, go to your race. Go to format, go to ms.fat, and then it doesn't matter about the name because it's going to change it. So we're going to hit erase, and then we're going to do the same thing with your other one. One's going to be for your ISO, one's going to be for your drivers. Now if you were to partition your external hard drive like mine, and then format one of those, this is what it would look like. Because I've tried it on the side here, you can see I'll just format it all into one hard drive and then even then it might not work so we're gonna go to boot camp assistant here hit continue and then we're gonna check this because we're not installing windows yet now I recommend installing the drivers which is what this is checked for from the website because when I tried installing from this it took over eight hours and only a quarter of it got filled up and it says you can format it to external hard drive even if you part I erase one of them just as a formatted MS doc, but it will not work. I've tried it many times. Even then, I had to unplug my external hard drive for just because it was plugged in, just for this to work. So, here's what it's like. I'm just going to hit download. It says it's going to be in a zip file, but on the side there, it just came as a folder file. So, we're going to check the first one, hit continue, and then we're going to click on our USB flash drive here. You don't want to click on your external hard drive. So let's click on our flash drive and find our ISO image. Mine's on my desktop here. We're going to hit open and then we're going to click on continue. And then that's going to format your Windows to your flash drive. And then we're going to open up our bootcamp folder that we just downloaded. Drag the contents from there to our other flash drive, which contains our drivers for your Bluetooth, keyboard, mouse, and everything else. You're going to need a USB keyboard and a USB mouse for this. It's going to take about 25 minutes to format your disk drive. After that, we're going to go to Applications and open up Bootcamp Assistant again. Hit Continue. And then we're going to uncheck the top two because now we're going to install Windows on here. So hit Continue. I'm going to give it about 115 gigabytes. Right now, I have 35 gigabytes left. It takes about... 14, 15 gigabytes just to install Windows. Now start to finish from this is roughly an hour long. I'm going to fast forward quite a bit of this and you're going to see your iMac go on and off quite a few times. So this is the first time I tried installing it with my external hard drive plugged in. And this is what happens if it's plugged in. So you're going to accept your terms, hit next. You're going to go to your boot camp hard drive and go to driver options and format it which is what you're supposed to do. And now you're supposed to hit next and continue. Mine didn't. So I had to reboot it, hold the option key, and then this gave me an option to reboot Windows. If it doesn't give you the option, you're going to have to go back to Bootcamp Assistant, remove your Bootcamp format, and then reinstall your Bootcamp format. And then unplug your external hard drive. Now this is it with my external hard drive off. Hit my language again, hit next. Hit accept the terms. I clicked on my hard drive because I already formatted it. I don't need to do it again. I'm going to say next and it's going to continue on. Now this is going to take roughly 20 minutes. It's going to ask you to personalize your screen. It's going to ask you for your username. It's going to do your setup. It's going to go on and off quite a few times as well. So after you've done all your settings and everything, boot camp is going to come back on to install your drivers off your other USB disk. So just hit next. Then you're going to click accept. Then we're going to hit install. This is roughly going to take 10 minutes to install. This is going to be for your Bluetooth devices, for your Wi-Fi, and your iMac, your audio, and everything else, your drivers, pretty much. And then, once it's all done, I'm going to show you how to stop using this USB mouse and install your Mighty Mouse that you have. And I'm going to show you what this iMac has on Windows. There's the score. But then, we're going to go to the taskbar at the bottom here, hit Go to Bluetooth, show Bluetooth devices. We're going to add device and you're going to see your Mighty Mouse appear. Now if you look at the top here, it's going to show unknown. 
and then you're going to see slider bar to install the drivers. Now I had a problem with my keyboard. I tried doing it with my keyboard and it would just disappear. As you can see, I click it here. It's not loading up the drivers. I close it. It's still not there. I had to exit it out and then re come back in, click on add device, and then I could get my keyboard working. As you can see now, you can see the drivers are real quick uploading. There's my keyboard, Apple Wireless keyboard. We're going to go to our desktop, ch check it out. The internet's working fine. We're going to go Google, keyboard's still fine. Mouse is working. Everything's good. Recommend doing a Windows update as well as um, we're going to go to the control panel. I'm going to show you how you can either open up your OS X or Windows on boot up. And to switch between the two, you're going to hold down your option key as the computer reboots. So you're going to go click on boot camp. Here you can choose to boot up off your OS X or Windows. I'm going to boot up off OS X. I'm going to use Windows mostly for games. I'm going to show you Grand Theft Auto here working on this. Uh, you can see my volume keys are working. I, the brightness keys don't work. I haven't tried out the, the play, rewind, and pause button on iTunes yet. Uh, or if for anything. So now I'm going to show you running Grand Theft Auto on the iMac on Windows. So here it is. I'm going to hit launch game. I'm going to fast forward through the, the intro here just briefly. Then I'm going to show you a quick loads. Right here is all real time. I did fast forward at the beginning for a quick bit, but look how quick it's switching to the game. Give me five, six seconds. Here we go. Game's on. Let me show you what my graphics are set to on here. I'm going to go over the graphics. And this is what I'm running it at. It says I'm using more resources than I'm supposed to, but plays fine. I got my uh, a USB 360 controller plugged in here. Downloaded a couple drivers from a few websites, installed it into the folder for it to work. As, as you can see, I'm using the controller now. You don't see me use the controller, but I'm using the controller and playing. It's wick. Hop in this car. The graphics look fine. It's not lagging at all. going pretty smooth about fast going barely any lag at all my plan here was to get on beat someone up but I just ended up pushing some guy over and I even hit him after yeah yeah so I run to this truck, take it. Forgive me, but uh, I need this. Help me! Camera kinda, it's hard to get focus on, but otherwise the game runs fine, runs smooth. Should jump in this, and there we go. I'm dead. Alright, now let's go on another adventure. Let's take this car here. I can hear my son yelling in the background. As you can see, it's kind of slow loading up there. But, I don't see it drawn from the performance at all. I'm gonna head over to this little spot that's like a glitch. Shoots your car up in the sky. It's pretty cool. Sweet ass driving skills. It's cruising along. Get in the paints like it don't matter. I'm trying to go to an auto body. I mean, an auto body shop to get a paint job. But those pigs are scouting me out. So let's just leave. I'm 
gonna do what we're gonna do. Fuck. If you've seen there, the road kinda faded out for a second and came back in. It's just like playing on the Xbox, sometimes it's going so damn fast that it just starts hard for it to load up. There's this park over here. Drive up in the middle, pull a shoot car. I've been shot across the whole map before. Mm -hmm, there we go. Not as far as I've been before, but enough to show that this game works and runs well. Put some mods in it, some cars. It'll be sweet to play. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Comment, like, see ya. If you have questions, message me and I'll answer them. Or comment, I'll respond in the comments as well.